and I'm Toast Leader, fellow Toast Leaders, distinguished friends, and honored guests. A famous American born in Pike County, Alabama, once said, you cannot be afraid to speak up and speak out for what you believe. You have to have courage, raw courage. That famous American was none other than Congressman John Lewis. As a young adult, I too witnessed things going on in my home state of Alabama that motivated and called me to action. But in order to speak up and speak out, I felt as though I needed formal education and professional training to adequately make an impact. You see, raw courage is the adrenaline that gets you to the stage, but it takes something more to deliver a message that resonates with substance and style. I used to think the great speakers were born and not made, but that is not the case. Throughout my personal and professional journey, I've witnessed normal people who have perfectly perfected extraordinary speaking styles to become paradigm shifters. These men who I will refer to as the judge, the general, and the congressman are not world renowned, but in the great state of Alabama, they have made their own marks on history. The first speaker with extraordinary style that I've witnessed firsthand was a former Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court. Here is a man who started as a lower court judge and through his oratorical prowess, climbed up the ladder all the way to the Supreme Court of Alabama. Although he had a natural ability to memorize large portions of written material, his speaking style was perfectly perfected such that he could captivate an audience utilizing a direct speaking style that conveyed power and conviction. While serving as judge, he won most of his elections by landslide. What I learned from the judge is to speak up and speak out with passion because people tend to remember those speakers who are not afraid to show passion. During the same period that I worked under the leadership of the chief justice, I was also serving as a captain in the Alabama Army National Guard. In this capacity, I spent my weekends at the rank of captain, serving as aide de camp for the second speaker who happened to be the adjutant general of the Alabama National Guard. This wasn't just any old regular army general. This was the very first African-American general in the history of Alabama. The general was appointed by the governor of Alabama to command all Army and Air National Guard personnel and weapon systems in the state. When I first learned the general had selected me to serve as his aide, I didn't know exactly what to expect, but I knew one thing for sure, whether I liked it or not, I was going to spend a hell of a lot of quality time with the living legend and that I was going to witness firsthand a very unique speaking style. After all, this two-star general was approximately six foot six and was about to travel the state delivering speeches to some audiences that weren't always going to be receptive. However, I quickly learned that my general had per perfectly perfected a speaking style that was altogether different than what I had grown accustomed to. Whereas the judge spoke with power and conviction, employing passion to seize the day, my general used humility and compassion that never failed to save the day. Two very contrasting styles, both were equally impactful. I learned from the general that a supportive communication style is calm, steady, approachable, and sincere. What the general reiterated to me is that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Shortly after leaving the judge and the general, I spent the next two years working for the third speaker who was a, who was a newly elected first term Alabama congressman. Just when I thought I'd seen and heard it all, the congressman exposed me to a few new techniques 
which I still have not quite figured out to this day. I traveled to different parts of this district with him and witnessed the congressman speak to diverse audiences. On many occasions, I heard him speak to groups of people that I am 100% certain previously had not voted for him. But after he would speak, to my surprise, that very same group would give him a standing ovation. I never witnessed him engage a crowd he couldn't touch. How could this be? How can you change someone's mind in a matter of minutes just by delivering a few words on cue and without notes? Over a period of time, I learned the congressman's secret sauce was really no secret at all. He was simply being genuine and authentic when he spoke. Unlike the judge or the general who rarely use notes, the congressman never used notes because he always spoke from his heart. The congressman articulated care and concern for the same issues that his constituents felt were important to them. He is always careful to under, under promise and over deliver. For nearly 20 years, his speaking style still resonates with the people of Alabama and with me. He taught me that if I focus more on connecting with my audience than trying to deliver sound bites, there's a greater likelihood people will see me as being genuine and authentic. From my experience with the judge, the general, and the congressman, I will say that all were supreme communicators, but with vastly different speaking styles. I caution you that finding your own unique speaking style requires patience and practice. There are some basic rules one must follow, but for the most part, you're free to develop your own special product. This is one safe space where it really doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, black or white, liberal or conservative. If you work at the craft, you will not be afraid to speak up and speak out for what you believe. Madam Toast Leader, I yield the balance of my time.